We're on story number 62, In the Hands of Destiny. It goes like this. A great Japanese warrior named Norbunga decided to attack an enemy. And although he had only one-tenth of the number of men the opposition commanded, he knew that he could win. But his soldiers were in doubt. So let's start right there for a minute. He knew that he could win. Now, we all have had this experience of stepping into some situation knowing that we could be able to meet it, knowing that we have, <clears throat> um, that we can rise to the occasion. And that's not hope. It's not good wishes. It's not, oh, I hope we can ri rise to this occasion. It is an experience that is based on an understanding having done something many times. It is based upon prior successes and failures. So he had this knowing, facing this battle, and it continues, on the way to the battle, he stopped at a Shinto shrine, and he told his attendant, I'll visit the shrine and toss, toss a coin. If heads comes up, we will win, if tails, we will lose. Destiny holds us in his hands. Nobunaka entered the shrine, offered a silent prayer. He came forth in front of his men, tossed a coin. Heads appeared. And everybody was elated. His soldiers were eager to enter the battle. One of the issues that any experienced person has is upaya. No one else has the experience, has the breadth, has the depth of understanding that someone who has engaged in some activity hundreds, maybe thousands of times. So other people can't recognize the same uh, truths about a situation. So in this case, he went into a temple. He said, I'm going to throw this coin. <clears throat> If it comes up heads, we'll win. If it comes up tails, we'll, we'll lose. Heads, will engage. Tails, we won't. And his attendant then said after his coin toss, when it turned up heads, his attendant said, no one can change the hand of destiny. And indeed not, says Nobunaga. But he showed him the coin, turned it over, and both sides were heads. So he used an expedient means to help his, to give confidence to, to empower, to support his, in this case, soldiers. And once they had that, once that confidence was instilled, then they went forth and they succeeded their task. Now, you might say it's a little deceptive to instill confidence in something like that, to instill confidence when the outcome is really fraught with uncertainty. But if you don't instill confidence, then where are you at? So confidence is essential. So how do you instill essential confidence in something that you are sure will succeed?